Hey there, you're back. That is great. Amazing. So let's finish this project, okay? All we have to do, looking to the original project, is to finish our footer component and to finish our contact page, which is a, a route in our project. We started this already in the first video, I believe, but we haven't finished. We just created the basic boilerplate. So today in this video, we are going to be finishing this and this will be the last video in this playlist. I will also link the entire code in this video's description. So I will use Google Drive you will have to download um, the zip folder and you will have to run npm i to install the node modules that you will need and only after that you will run npm run dev to run the development server so this is what you have to do so let's finish this project okay great amazing back to our project there we go we have no footer we just have the footer word there because oops this was my video we don't need it anymore so let's go this is where we left we don't need this anymore we finish this just check the previous video and now we want to go and navigate to the components, which is inside the app directory, and we want to navigate to the footer component. There you go. This is what we need for the moment. This one is going to be super, super simple. So I'm just gonna copy paste a little bit of text. Text, it's a funny. Uh, we are not going to be using the div, we are going to be using a much better tag which is the footer tag which is a html5 semantic tag and inside that tag we'll have a p that will contain this silly and funny um copyright text that says no insects copyright all you can eat buffet it's just a silly name doesn't matter so let's style this footer so the parent is the footer tag itself so class name there we go padding y of five background color of black text of white to give a nice contrast to be easier to read padding top of 12 and this is all we need for the footer tag now for the p class for the p tag we need to also of course style it a bit font font what what yeah you guessed it right font bold text text 1xl text in the center that's what i want and then one more time i'm customizing tailwinds class and i'm gonna call my primary color that I have defined on the first video and this should be all so let's have a quick look hmm oh there you go the usual delay boom amazing we have a footer now so now if we navigate to our contact page and we don't have to do it like that anymore because we have the navigation so contact boom because there's no content to push the footer down the footer goes up but we are going to be fixing that by adding a class no worries so it looks so it looks like this in the original project see okay there we go so back to the home page amazing back to the contact page back to the home page and just to test this contact page there you go amazing 
shop i'm not going to the shop because that takes me externally this one takes me internally boom to that specific section amazing and this also takes me externally so let's just close this okay let's work on the contact page we did we created this route on the first video i believe but just recapitulate this is super simple so basically your front end is built inside using next.js 13.4 there you go point two you have the app directory not the pages directory anymore okay so you do your routing and front end here so you have the components folder with your components inside and then inside the app directory if you want to create a page you create it by creating a folder and the folder name will be your route name and then you use the convention as you can see it's page.js or .jsx or, or tsx or typescript whatever but the convention is just page.extension name okay it's quite simple so if i navigate to contact there you go it's working okay amazing so let's work on the contact page and this is going to be super 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 fast so i'm just gonna find not that i'm sorry for that and if it lost there you go so i'm looking for contact page which is this file right here boom i had this margin top for a different reason when we started this video so i'm not gonna need it anymore uh one thing that we we know is uh see the title here so i go to home page I see on page when I go to contact instead of create next app I want to see contact page so I need to export some metadata in in information inside the contact page so I'm gonna say export const metadata and this is going to be my object okay and I'm just gonna add the title property and the string value is going to be contact contact as whatever and now this should update this one metadata okay what oh i did this import without noticing i don't know why i did it I didn't see it okay it should work oh come on this is thinking okay this is thinking now it should work don't see a reason there you go see contact us on page on page contact boom just contact I'm gonna remove boom Okay, now it should update from contact us to contact and it does amazing all good so far so what do we need now <clears throat> we now don't see the footer and we don't see anything because let me just see I just have this but in reality if I were to do a display none the navbar you will see contact page and footer so i'm gonna moment momentaneously remove from my layout page i'm gonna remove my navbar momentaneously and you will see what i mean because the navbar is fixed it's hiding that come on show me update update see now that I removed I now can see my footer and I can see the contact page okay 
it was hidden because the nav bar is fixed and is covering this entire area and there's a higher z index i believe and um, then you cannot say this but we are going to be solving this so i'm going to put my nav bar back which will hide again everything but we'll be fixing that my computer is so damn slow as you can see it's taking ages just to do a saving and then to update yeah you don't really need to refresh the page you are using uh, next but i tend to do it because sometimes I do things without using Next.js and stuff. I have to refresh, refresh the page, so it's like a, an habit I have already. Okay, so let's first work on showing um, this. So this div, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy the, the text that I have on the other page. So this parent div will contain the h1, h1, boom, paste, okay? So now in the parent div, all I wanna do is say text center, and you know this, and then I'm gonna say margin top, once again, customizing Tailwind CSS classes, and by testing, I figured out that 180 pixels does what I need, and then I need the height to be custom as well. And I decided to go with 75 VH, okay? Which is taking most of the viewport height, okay? And then for the H1 itself, class name, you know what font I will be using? <laughs> you guessed it. Bold text to Excel. And then uppercase, just to make it more visible, I guess. Uppercase and padding top of A. And this should have fixed our problems. So once this finishes saving, I should be able to show you, come on, come on. We do see the text already, but without the classes being applied yet. And the footer is here below, like it should, all good. So it's just refreshing, okay? Come on, update. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there you go. See, exactly like the other one. Okay, this is it. The project is officially done. Okay, navbar component, hero section, call to action, info component, featured section component, IKEA section component, footer component. This takes us externally. These are just links, as I showed you before. Okay, and this one takes us to a website where they sell this kind of food just go and explore if you want contact page yeah this is it let's just inspect to see if there's any errors in the console i also mentioned it before that when you're working okay there's like a warning message i'm gonna just refresh this and refresh i think i will still get that warning message so it's like there's a difference between a warning message and the error. So I'm going to refresh again. The error, it's mandatory to be fixed right away. So you can continue coding and seeing the information rendering on the page. Oh, looks like I don't have any problems or even warnings, which is good. See, I'm refreshing the page and still no information. Let me just go to another page just to be 100% sure and nope no errors no warning messages amazing so this is what we did let's have a quick look here with my amazing tool
to show different views there we go mobile view let's go to ipad air 4 amazing look at that i'm going to click here i'm going to be taken to the ikea section boom there we go and now macbook this is actually my computer so amazing i'm happy with this man i'm happy really happy with this super cool okay i hope you guys enjoyed those videos i know it took a long time for me to show you all of these but guess what i was really honest and transparent with you i didn't hide my weaknesses i didn't pretend that i was super uh, efficient or super experienced and all of that all i'm doing is showing my reality at this moment in time in my life this is my level of knowledge when it comes to Next.js. It isn't much, I know, it isn't impressive, but guess what? I just started learning Next. First time I started to explore Next.js was last December, okay? And I've been working with Next.js uh, not only, so it's been like, give or take, six months okay and i don't have the time to really daily work on this kind of project so on my spare time i do it so i'm happy with my progress i know it's not impressive but i'm telling you this because this is what you will face and probably feel as a beginner so i'm not trying to pretend that i'm a top teacher or anything so this is me this is raw this is the brutal reality like it or not this is how i learn this is how i teach and i hope you guys enjoyed this series of videos and if you did please leave me a like consider subscribing um, share the video with someone that might be interested to learn about this and keep watching my videos and before you go just to let you know that by the end of the day, sorry, not by the end of the day, silly me, by the end of the month, it's going to be my birthday. So, of course, a really nice birthday gift will be you subscribing to my channel or at least giving me a like or a comment to let me know how I can improve. So, bye.